Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is a national holiday. Today is National Moth Day. <laughs> it's kind of a random national holiday, but moths do serve their purpose as do every creature on the face of the planet and, well, I guess everywhere on the planet. I'll just face it. <laughs> but um, they're also a little bit creepy. I've always kind of been creeped out by moths, mostly because of that weird powdery substance that's on them. It gives me the ick if I get touched by a moth but I'm trying to get over that it's just like my fear of spiders I've been doing so much better now I get to where I've gotten to where I only kill the venomous ones which here in Tennessee we only have two venomous spiders that's the black widow and uh brown recluse I'm pretty sure um is the only two and we have brown recluses here like crazy all the time so I do kill them when I see them but I, I've been really good about capturing them like in a tissue or something and sticking them outside but anyways, uh, this is about moths, not spiders. <laughs> I do try to rescue moths and other weird bugs that get in, you know, through the door the same way because I'm trying to be, you know, just a better person and, and in my opinion, a good per you know, people don't just go around killing things. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, also trying to teach out to my kids. But I made some cute moths. <laughs> it's weird putting the word cute and moths together to me, but there are some really cool looking moths. Uh, and I like those big giant green ones. I've only seen a few like in our life. Every now and then you get to see one of those big giant green ones like on a wall and uh it's just really cool but uh so i made two and this is a free pattern and it's called moth madness by i think it's brianna eames i think it's how you say that i used worsted weights um not scraps but just like floppy skeins all red heart i'm pretty sure one is a big twist uh and i used an elf hook which is a 3.75 millimeter so, okay, the first one I made, I made to look kind of like Mothman. <laughs> so, here's the first one. Again, so cute. And mine's, mine's kind of like a medium-sized amigurumi. It, you can make it bigger or smaller, and the pattern even, even says that, depending on the yarn and hook couple you use. Um, it'd be cool to see these in, like, blanket yarn. But, yeah, so it's actually a really easy pattern. The legs are here. There are six of them. Are crocheted into the body. And the, it does have a pattern to make to crochet antenna, but, uh, and also just to do simple ones. And I, I went for the simple ones <laughs> because to do the crocheted ones, you need to use a smaller yarn. And, uh, I didn't want to have to deal with that. So I just made the little gray ones. So here's my first, this is the first one I made. His body is made out of big twist titanium gray. And his wings is made out of red heart, super super black. He does have four wings. Which I don't know if, like, I don't know everything about moths. I don't know how many legs they have or how many wings they have. And it might vary. I don't know. But, uh, you gotta sew them on separately. And, uh, so I guess it's five pieces all together. The body and then the four wings. And then the little antennae. What I did is I took a piece of yarn that was left over and I, I wove in my end. I wove in one end of it so that it was stuck on the moth. And then I just went through his little body and then I just cut it. I did that twice. That way his, his antenna are stuck in there. There's no way they're coming out unless someone cuts them. And then his little eyeballs, I just used some puffy paint. I used red for him because he, the moth man moth, has uh, red eyes. And so that was the first time I made it. I think he's so cute. <laughs> I also made a short of him. It should be out when you see this video too. I'm putting him out at some time. I'm going to try, I wanted to try to get uh, into making shorts and to make, um, just cute ones i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get, do it good or not but i did it with him so i'm gonna try to keep doing that with other little things that i make so that was the first one i made the second one that i made um uh, there's another moth that i've seen around before and it's pink and yellow and i always thought it was so pretty every time i see it uh and i think it's called i already forgot i think it's called like red maple moth or something like that i, I don't know why they name <laughs> uh things different colors than they are because like like a purple finch if you ever seen one of those they're actually red they have red on them and um like red onions you know they're purple but actually i if it does come back from like in the old old days like a long time ago they only had like certain color names so like all purples and pinks and reds went underneath the color red but anyways that's like a long story so i made the cute little pink and yellow moth i looked up a picture of it to try to see so i could try to get the colorations like right and from the pictures that I found, it has like a pink face, yellow body. Its little legs are pink. And then its wings, um, the two back wings, the little ones, <laughs> have a lot of yellow and a little bit pink at the end. And then the, the big wings that you see, they're laying on top of them, 
or pink yellow pink so i tried to do that <laughs> so i did use red heart for these um i know it's red heart bright yellow and i can't remember what the pink is called but it's the really bright pink it's not i don't think it's called hot pink because that's like a darker color no that's shocking pink maybe this is hot pink i don't know it's the really bright one <laughs> so there's my i made his little his little legs uh pink his little face is pink i put black eyes because from the pictures it looked like he had it had black eyes <laughs> And then the underneath wings, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, from the photos that I found, they look yellow and then pink at the end. And then the top ones are pink, yellow, pink. <laughs> so I tried to, to do it. I don't know if it looks <laughs> great or not. But these are my two little moths. I think they're pretty cute. And uh, I think they'd be cute to make big giant ones. But I don't I don't ever work with like big bulky yarn. But I've seen a lot of like TikToks and stuff where people make exclusively blanket yarn amigurumis. It'd be cute to see a blanket yarn moth. <laughs> but yeah, and I did his antenna, antenna the same way I did the other one. And that's also puffy paint, and it's just black puffy paint. But I think they're pretty cute. What do you guys think? <laughs> Anyways, this is a free pattern, and I will leave it linked down below so you can check it out. I'm pretty sure it was a PDF. I think it's a PDF download. But now I don't know. No, it wasn't. I had to I had to copy it and print it is what I did. Yeah, it's on their website. So I will link, leave that linked below. But I just think it's pretty cute. This same person who designed these has a lot of cute little patterns that I want. <laughs> One of them is um, a bat that I got to get because it's just so cute. But there's my moths. What do you guys think of my moths? I wasn't sure about how to get the wings sewn on there right. Whoops. I just threw one. <laughs> I think the pink one came out better. Because, you know, their second set of wings are kind of below their first set. This was the first one I did and they're kind of spaced out. But... It's still cute. There's still little moths. I still love them. <laughs> but anyways, happy moth today. Don't kill moths. They're good for the environment somewhat. I know they're kind of pesky and annoying. But they do have their little place in the world. And anyways, go make you a moth. I think Jesse will like these. He has not seen them. I think he's going to want them when he does see them. Because he loves little critters of all kinds. <laughs> so I think he's probably going to want these. But yeah, so there's my little moths. <laughs> Go check out my short, too. I worked hard on it. I had to film a couple of different clips and edit them together, and then I put music over it. And I was proud of myself. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I made a short, and it's like a decent short. But I want to try to get better at making shorts, because um, I think they're cute when people just share, like, little tidbits of things they make. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to hop off here. Go check out this pattern and make it if you want to. If you make any moths, let me see them. <laughs> Either if you make a video, let tag me in it. Tag me on Instagram or send an email or on Facebook or something. I want to see your moths. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.